everyone, so today I am testing out the $1 makeup. So if you saw my previous video, if you haven't, you should pause this video and go watch it right now. I'll link it down below. Basically, I did a giant haul of $1 makeup and brushes and lashes and stuff. And yeah, I'm going to try it on my face today. I'm actually really excited for this because in the last video when I was swatching it, some of it looked pretty decent. Some of it, of course, wasn't so great. But I mean, a lot of it was better than I thought. So I'm really excited to see if it performs really well on my face. So let's just dive right in. Just a disclaimer, I'm not trying to do any kind of like crazy makeup look today. I'm not going to do any cocktail inspired look today. Today's video is just like trying this out. I'm just going to do like a pretty basic makeup look. So I'm going to start with this AOA Studio Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer. So this primer here, when I used it on my hand, it felt really nice and hydrating. Even though it says it is matte, like it feels really moisturizing and quite thick. I hate the smell of it though. It smells disgusting. But it actually makes my skin and feel really good. Okay, next I'm using foundation. I think this is meant to be a foundation brush because I can't see anything else. Oh no, here we go. Here's one. Foundation brush. So these are the like foundation products I found on the website. Um, so I'm just gonna try and find one that like matches me slightly. I think they're all completely wrong to be honest because they all look either very pink or dark and I'm super pale right now and I've actually got quite a like yellowy undertone. This is probably the closest we're gonna get. It's a little bit pink but not too bad. This is the Amuse Flawless Liquid Foundation in the shade Carib. So I'm just gonna swirl some of this on my face. This is probably the part that I'm most nervous about because I have not had a good experience with super cheap foundations and stuff before like concealers are sometimes okay but we'll see this is gonna be way too dark for me look at this it smells terrible oh my god this is horrible <laughs> It's going so thick and patchy. Look at this and like bright orange. I can't even like blend it. I don't know if it's the brush or the foundation or both. Oh, look at that. Honestly, this is so bad. Like, I don't know how anyone could make this look good. No matter what I do with it, it just smears and goes streaky. And I've got dry skin on my chin and it's just like latching to them and not covering anything. It's just made my skin bright orange. I hate it so much. More and more orange the longer I wait. It is... Look at that. Obviously it was already the wrong color, but like it's oxidized so quickly. Oh, it feels so thick. This is horrible. I think I might have to use the concealers I got just like all over my face because that was the closest match I had. Light yellow. Maybe light yellow will work. Let's try light yellow. <laughs> I'm just doing this, aren't I? Concealer all over my face. Okay, so with this concealer, I am just going to do some stripes all over my face. Oh, this doesn't feel terrible, but it doesn't feel very silky smooth. Like it's quite dry. I'm going to use a foundation brush of my own because that other one is caked in makeup from that other terrible foundation. Okay, this is working better. Oh, it dries quick. So that blended out okay. It doesn't look amazing, but it doesn't look bad you know what I mean like it's just whatever it's a little bit cakey looking but I mean I did just put it all over my face and it is a concealer so I'm not surprised it looks a million times better than that other foundation that's all I'm gonna say thank you AOA studio wonder cover concealer in pale yellow <laughs> at least my face is even now okay let's do some powder I believe this is the only one I got it's called the clean Easter pressed powder in the color suede maybe the wrong color Probably. I'm going to use this AOA Studio brush, which is like a powder brush. It's very soft, but not dense. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, everything smells like grannies when it's like affordable makeup. Well, not affordable makeup. I should say, say super cheap makeup. This isn't even affordable. This is like the cheapest you can get, I would say. I can't even tell if anything's actually going onto my skin. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think it is. It actually looks quite decent. Oh, a little bit cakey, but I mean decent. I'm more excited for like the lip products and the eye products than the face products because I'm very fussy with foundation and powder. Even the blushes and stuff I think will be okay. The contour I'm not so sure about because it looked very orange. When it comes to makeup, I've always thought, you know, it's better to invest in higher end or like not even higher end, just like good quality foundation and powder and good quality skincare because the rest of your makeup, all of the color cosmetics and everything, you can usually make almost anything work. LA Girl does a really good affordable 
foundation. I've done like first impressions. I'll link them down below if you want to watch them. Elf Cosmetics does some really good, really cheap foundations for like three bucks or five bucks or something like that. I'm going to use a little bit of this bronzer with the same brush. This is called the GOV USA Sun Glow Shimmer Bronzer. I'm going to use a really small amount when I swatch this. Like you can even see how much just went off one tap. When I swatched this, I was like, wow, that's pigmented using a very light hand. This is like crazy pigment for something that costs like a dollar. I still don't understand how they can sell stuff for a dollar. It's like Elf Cosmetics, you know how they have that dollar line? Like how can you sell stuff for a dollar and make money? I just don't get it. It's like eBay. You know how you buy stuff off eBay for like a dollar free shipping from like China? I'm like, how are they making money off this? I just don't get it. It's actually quite nice because once you buff it into your skin, you can't hard out see the shimmer. It just gives a nice like bronzed look. I probably should have washed these brushes before I used them but oh well. Okay and for blush this one is so pretty. This one is by Sente. It's called the Mineral Blush in Color 02. Packaging is very extra but the actual color is so nice so I'm just going to use the same brush again because this one works okay. Woo that's pigmented. Really going to buff that in. This smells like ass. Oh, the actual color is really pretty though if you're looking for a nice peachy pink blush. It actually goes on so nicely. It blends out so nicely. It's super pigmented. It's almost too pigmented. Okay, guys, I have transferred to the floor because the lighting up there was getting out of control. So now you can see the colors better. Obviously, I have not contoured and my base is not the best, but you can see that color's really pretty. The blush color is just very intense and the bronzer is quite orange now that I can see it in better lighting. Anyway, let's continue. I think I'm gonna move straight onto my eyebrows now. We have a little angled brush just here. And then we've got this eyebrow essential kit in ash brown, which is dark AF. I thought ash brown would be like, you know, an ashy brown, like a light ashy brown, not a dark, like black. Look, it comes with little stencils. I kind of want to use them, but it's probably not really a good idea. Okay, the packaging feels cheap AF. Like it's like very like bendy feeling. It's called it Clean Color Brows Essential. And this is the color, you know, it's just a light brown. <laughs> this is gonna look so bad. Okay, let's do it. Like I said in my haul video, um, I don't mean to be harsh on products that are cheap. I know it sounds like that sometimes, but I'm just trying to give it the same treatment as anything in terms of just me being honest. I'm not going to be like, oh, this is so great just because it's cheap. Do you know what I mean? Just because something's cheap doesn't give it an excuse to be crap. So I'm just giving you all of my honest opinion so you can actually weigh up if it's like worth the hassle of actually ordering it. Do you know what I mean? Like some stuff, you know, I could be like, holy crap, this is so cheap and so good. So that's great. Some stuff I might have a bit of a constructive criticism, but you might still think, you know what, it's still only a dollar. Like I'll give it a go. So that's why I'm just being honest and you guys can make your own decision. If I say something's good, you know it is good. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't want to say something's good and then it's like actually crap <laughs> just because I've said it's good for the sake of it being cheap. That's not how I roll. Hopefully that makes sense. This color actually doesn't look bad. It's very patchy though. I think you can see it for yourself how patchy it is, but the color isn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's just like gripping to certain areas with my eyebrow and this brush is really thick so it's kind of hard to get a nice defined line. I have this tinted brow mascara, Framus Brows by Clean Color. This is in the shade Brown Black. This packaging feels really nice. It's like rubber, like NARS packaging. It feels really cool. And then if we open it, that's what the brush looks like. It's quite big, but the color looks okay. It's quite warm for something that is brown black. Like if you had brown black eyebrows, this is probably not the right color for you. It is very warm and not that dark. So it's probably better for me, but even then, I don't know if it'll be too warm or not. Oh, it feels quite sticky. I quite like it. Like I can really feel it sticking my eyebrows down. Look at this. Can you see that? Like it really sticks them. It makes them feel like I've just put like hairspray in my eyebrows and then back combed them. <laughs> Far out. That is intense. I'm actually kind of impressed. I don't know if it's like practical, but it's not bad. If you already have thick eyebrows, I would definitely stay away from this. But if you have very sparse thin eyebrows, it could be good because it really does volumize. It makes your eyebrows way thicker than what Gimme Brow does. It's just kind of hard to use. As you can see, it's kind of getting everywhere. If that was like a smaller brush applicator, this would be like legit. It's just very messy. It's like it actually feels like my eyebrows are like 
stuck like glued super glued down oh I might just quickly contour so I've got this little contour trio by Amuse it's in the shade natural and it looks like this I'm going to use this little brush here and none of these colors look correct honestly so I'm just gonna mix the two darker ones they all look very warm so yeah I don't think this is gonna work out very well oh, this smells so bad too what is it with like these cheap powders Oh god, look at that. That's oh now I feel like I have to do the other side to even it out. This is not going well. I'm gonna use this color here to highlight my cheeks. This is from the LA Colors Trio in Magnolia. It looks like quite chunky when I swatch on my finger, but we're gonna use this fan brush thing and give this a go. Oh, that works. My skin looks so cakey, it's not funny. I'm also gonna use some of this on my inner corner. And on my brow bone. <gasps> oh my goodness. That looks a bit crazy. Now I've got this LA Colors Matte Eyeshadow Quad. I'm gonna use some of these. I can't find any blender brushes. Maybe this is supposed to be the blender brush, but it's like giant. I don't know, we'll just use what we can. I am going to take this shade. I don't know. I'm just going to press that on the eyelid. This is in the shade Matterific. I'm just bringing that all over my lid. Then I'm going to take the other grey colour, which literally looks almost the exact same with this giant blender brush. <laughs> it worked. I think if you were just practicing with eyeshadows, these are quite good. I'm sure they must have nicer colour combinations. When I did go on this website, a lot was sold out. So that's probably half of my issue. So I just had to like get what I could, you know. But the actual formula of these, like, they're not like the most pigmented things in the world. But they work. I'm going to use some of that like dark charcoal, almost black color. And that can go on the outer kind of half of my eyelid and I'll blend that in. I'm going to use this Amuse Smoky Eye Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Teddy and it's really warm. It's like a warm brown. I'm going to use that blender brush again and just kind of like pop some of that in the crease. This blender brush is terrible. It's huge and it's floppy. And it's probably not even a blender brush, but that's what I'm using it for. I think you can get better brushes off eBay, to be honest. Even though these probably are eBay brushes. I mean, maybe they've got other sets though. This particular set just has a lot of like nonsense in it. Do you know what I mean? Like random brushes, like spoolies and stuff, where I would like more blender brushes and things like that. This is like going halfway down my face because this brush is so big. <laughs> these eyeshadows are quite nice. The Amuse ones, I like them. So that's how the eye makeup is looking. <laughs> I've also got these eyeshadows, so I might use one of these just on my eyelid. This is in the shade 6, Sante Eyeshadow Styling Compact. I'm going to use that colour on my finger. I'm just going to press that on my eyelid. It's okay. This is very similar to the kind of makeup I started out with when I was like, you know, really young in like intermediate school when I used to just play around with it. It's not the best quality. If you're already used to you know, quite good quality makeup. I don't think you're gonna find any value in this kind of makeup. But by the way, I'm taking the hot pink now. If you are brand new to makeup and you literally just wanna buy some cheap stuff to learn with, then I would say go for it. Because, you know, these eyeshadows are quite easy to blend. They're not the most pigmented. It's not the most exciting and the most fun colors, the most pigmented, but it's easy to blend. Now I'm gonna use this Duo Eyeliner by Clean Color 2 to do it. There is a liquid eyeliner and a pencil eyeliner. So I'm gonna try the liquid. I thought it was a brush tip, but it's not, it's felt. Oh, looks like we're doing thick eyeliner today. Oh God, I missed. The actual formula of this is pretty good. It dries matte and it's quite opaque. It's just that I suck with these applicators, so I need to disregard that. It dries super quick. Um, Both sides of my eyes are very uneven, but like check out that eyeliner. It's like black, it's matte. It's quite nice. We'll try out the pencil side too. It's just like an automatic pencil. Oh, it's sharp. Ah, oh my god. It's so hard. It's like got no color payoff either. It just like made my waterline kind of light gray. I would still get it just for that side though. That's really good if you like felt it. Mascara. This is the mascara I chose. It's the Amuse Volume Mascara. There has been some incredible cheap AF um, mascaras back in the day. Like that Giordano Lash Extreme or whatever it was called. Oh, this is pretty good. Bummer, it's gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see my lashes because I did such a thick eyeliner. Okay, honestly, that works just fine. I'll zoom you in and look down. Hopefully you can see the lashes. Like, they look decent, right? 
And then for lashes, I got these Cara lashes. These are 100% human hair. I hate these ones. So I'm gonna use these ones today. These are in the shade, shade. These are in the style 213 and they're very natural looking. My mascara is like everywhere. So you need to make sure you let it dry and like apply it carefully. Look at that. That is a mess. Here's how the eye makeup looks up close. You can see my skin's quite like chunky. Oh, I've got black everywhere. Like very cakey looking. But I mean, it's not terrible. Oh my gosh, I can't get it off. The mascara, apart from the fact that it's messy, is actually quite decent. I quite like it. Eyeliner, I really like it. I wish it was in a brush tip applicator, but that's just personal preference. And that brow gel is epic. Just messy. So now we've pretty much just got to put on our lip color. And I want to use one of the liquid lipsticks because they looked really good in the haul. Oh look, here's a um, brown eyeliner. Super gel intense by Sante. I don't really know if it's working. Okay, it really doesn't do that much to be honest. This lip liner is by AOA Studio in the shade Faded. Ow, it's sharp. It's just like a nice kind of nude color. It's not the best lip liner I've used. It's quite stiff and sharp. It's not very creamy, so I don't know. I'm not that impressed. And then the liquid lipstick is also called Faded by AOA Studio. It's the Wonder Matte Liquid Lipstick. Oh, it smells so bad of cherry, but the actual formula, like look how pigmented that is. Why cherry? Like why is every affordable, cheap ass makeup brand? cherry scented of all things. So the liquid lipstick is drying. It applies really evenly. It feels quite thick on my lips though. A little bit heavy. I mean altogether my makeup doesn't look terrible. You know what I mean? Like it looks okay. The contour is disgusting. Like that is terrible. It's completely the wrong color. It's so orange. It's even too orange to be like a bronzer. Do you know what I mean? The shimmery bronzer I quite like it. It is quite orange also though. The blush I do like. It's just very, very pigmented, so use a very light hand. The mascara was good. The lashes are good. The line is good. The brow mascara was good. Just messy. The Amuse single eyeshadows are definitely my favorite eyeshadows I used today. The other ones, you know, they were good for beginners. They're easy to blend and stuff, but they're not the most pigmented or interesting. The formula is not super amazing. The concealer is decent. Like, it does conceal really, really well. It's a little bit cakey, though. The powder seemed to work absolutely fine. It was a little bit cakey also, but nothing too crazy. What else? that like eyeshadow as a highlighter is quite intense so that was good the eyebrow powder i didn't really like it that much it was very very powdery and very patchy the liquid lipstick now that it's almost dry it definitely feels a little bit sticky but for a dollar they're great you know what i mean apart from the smell i can still smell it if you don't like artificial cherry like me it's not the best so yeah i really hope this video helped you out if you're curious about the makeup on shop Miss a for a dollar i would definitely suggest checking out some of it hopefully this video helped you decide what you're going to try let me know down below in the comments what product you're most excited to try and let me know how you think it came out like what do you think was the best product and let me know what you thought the worst product was i'd love to hear from you down below here comes the sun again it's so bright anyway i really enjoyed filming this video it was a lot of fun i definitely need to do more videos like this so i will just talk to you guys in my next video bye